So Elon Musk even talks about the Venezuelan situation. He goes back and forth with Maduro, and we're gonna get into that. But Patrick Bit David made this video on it. We're gonna be rea reacting to that. So let's get right into the video. Both claim Venezuela election win. Official results. Question. This is a Reuters story. Craziness going on in Venezuela that even Musk is involved with this thing here. Let's read both stories and then we'll go from there. Maduro, an opposition candidate. Edmundo Gonzalez, both claim victory in Venezuela's presidential election. The National Electoral Authority announced Maduro's win with 51% of the vote, but Gonzalez, supported by Maria Corina Machado, argued he had secured 70% with independent exit polls are suggesting a significant opposition win. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken expressed serious concern that the official results did not reflect the people's votes. Isolated incidents of violence occurred before the results. Rob, if you have some of the clips to show, were announced, including a death in Tachira. Is this the southern border or Venezuela? Shooting, Pat, you, wait, wait, wait. Is this El Paso? I'm sorry. Dude, yeah. Well, you hear them shooting? They're actually shooting at... Uh, they're tear gassing the, the people in the back there, okay? Yeah, but they're saying that they were firing on oh. them. Well, somebody's playing an instrument. Go to Musk's tweet about this, Rob. If you can go to Elon Musk. Musk just tweeted about this a couple times. Uh, if you just go to, yeah, uh, uh, zoom in a little bit so we can see it. So that's one. El, let me see what oh, that, he says. That, no, that's El what he, he called him. But he called him a, uh, uh, he's like, he's the problem. I sent it to Rob. Wait, I'll, I'll read it to you, Pat. He said, um, where's the Maduro? Oh, yeah. He said, the uh, donkey online, knows more online than is controlled by the arch, uh, arch enemy, the famous Elon Musk, who wants to come with his rockets to invade Venezuela. We know you are behind everything with your money and satellites. You want to control the world. That's what he, he said. Oh, he's saying that about he's Elon Musk. He's saying that about Elon Musk. <laughs> he's saying that about Elon Musk. And mind you, just mm -hmm. a couple of uh, Venezuelan president, Nicolas Maduro, has fled from the Mido Flores palace. And they, they are not happy. They go, are not go to the next clip because he's got a couple tweets about Venezuela. If you can go back, go to Lil Rob. Or you're yeah. looking that up. The Western News was saying that they had actually broke perimeter and there were citizens and, and people rebelling into the palace. Oh, yeah. They're, I mean, Yesterday uh, around 7 p.m. Eastern that they broke is. perimeter. Wow. So they broke perimeter and they're like trying to figure out. They're trying to like catch... Uh, Maduro. That's the one right there. So it says, Maria Corona Machado, we have 73% of votes cast. We have all the minute, <laughs> minutes published, pinned, printed, verified. They will have to ratify the truth. Keep going it. The truth is what we all saw yesterday in the streets of Venezuela. All minutes verified, in, inspected, tallied, scanned, digitized, and placed. Can you show, uh, Vinny, the clip that you have that shows what happens with oh, all uh, of Oh, Robbie, can you send that? Yeah, guys, just out of curiosity, Rob has a chart. What does this remind you guys? It, uh, it's but I, ho I hope they show, like, the Venezuelan uh, Elon Musk tweets. So many Venezuelans that have showed up here over the last 10 years. We have employees here, too. To you know that, right? a land of Cubans. The Ven Venezuelans have showed up. Now, if you want to know who hates communism and socialism, talk to the people in South Florida, in Miami, and Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, that are from Cuba, that are from Venezuela. Oh, my no. <laughs> so... Here's what's actually happened over the last few weeks. So you have Maduro and then you have the uh, opposition party. It's an older guy, uh, Ed, Ed, Edmundo Gonzalez. So for weeks, Maduro was trailing by over 25 percentage points for weeks. So it'd be the equivalent of Trump is above Kamala by 25 percent. It's a wrap. Wow. Yeah. And then what happens is the day of the election, Maduro wins 51 percent. To 44%. Hmm. So that's a seven-point swing. So what happened to those other 18 percentage points? Where'd they go? Mm -hmm. That's what people want to know. So you have people like Secretary of State Anthony Blinken coming out and basically saying, yeah, we don't recognize this. Sorry, guys. By the way, do you know who the biggest, loudest voice is on this? Our friend Javier Mele, Argentina. Shout out to this guy. Here's what he said. He said the following. Um... He's issued a statement saying that the Venezuela socialist president Maduro has lost 
and that Argentina will not recognize another fraudulent election. Quote unquote, Venezuela chose to end the communist dictatorship of Nicolas Maduro. The data announced a crushing victory for the opposition and the world is waiting for for it to recognize the defeat after years of socialism, misery, and decadence and death. Argentina is not going to recognize another fraud, and it hopes the, the, the armed forces this time will defend the democracy and the popular will. And then, PBD, you always talk about socialism, communism. Rob, pull up this chart that I sent you. What? Right there. Okay. Oh. So take a look at this. If you want to know what socialism and communism basically can do to a country. Here's a little fun facts for you um, regarding uh, Venezuela. Do you have the actual chart, Rob? Just right there. Just, just yeah, that thing right there. So look in the yellow. Did you know that 60 years ago, Venezuela was two times richer than China? It was four times richer than Japan. It was the fourth ranked world economy and number one in Latin America. It's current. Wow. So it was two times richer than China and it was the number one richest country in Latin America. That's insane. Second only to the US dollar, and they had an excellent health system. This is Venezuela, this is 60 years ago. 60 years later, there's a potential civil war because socialism and communism have run amok. And if you need another evidence, all yeah. you socialists out yeah. there, yeah. what happens when you go from capitalism yeah. to socialism? Yeah. Look no further than Venezuela. Great point. Bur Bernie, good, great point, Adam. Bernie Sanders, AOC. I sent Rob this chart to Poor piggyback Greece. on you. When I say, when you say, Adam, and it's not mm -hmm. like fear mongering, it can happen. Check out this timeline, PBD. In 1992, uh, Venezuela, third richest country in the hemisphere, 97, second largest purchaser of F-150, 2001 vote. Pickup trucks. Yeah, voted, voted for 2001, a socialist president, income equality, pay attention. Mm -hmm. 2004, private health care is completely socialized. Uh, 2007, all higher education becomes free. 2009, socialists ban private ownership of guns. Wonder why. Wonder why. Mm -hmm. 2012, Bernie Sanders praises their American dream. 2014, opposition leaders are imprisoned. How Cuban of you. Yeah, 2016, food health care shortages become widespread. 2017, constitution and elections are suspended. And then 2019, unarmed citizens massacred by their own government and it only took one wow that's crazy and that's why i talk a lot about just like guns and when they take the ownership of guns and they ban them and you can't actually own a gun that it just allows for the government to completely control you and you can't do anything about it and yeah i mean we like to think yeah everything should be free everything should everyone should have equal benefits and blah 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 like that but it becomes dangerous because one person still has to run it all. And when you do that, you're only under that person. You're only under that oppressor, and that's Maduro. Generation of that progressive leadership to plunge them into civil war. So don't get it twisted. And that's mm -hmm. what these leaders, these Kamala Harris's, these Bernie Sanders, these AOC's, the squad, that's what they want. They want all of us to have that. So that's the future if you keep voting for these people. So, by the way, great points, Vinny. If you see 2001, you know who they voted in right there? Who? That was the guy, uh, Hugo, Sh Sh Hugo Chavez. Chavez. So that's the guy. And you have to understand one thing about Venezuela. They're basically like Saudi Arabia of. Latin America. They're an oil rich country. So what they try to do is socialize the oil. And any times that you do socialize anything, believe me, there's only a few people getting rich and that's the people running the government and not the people. Yep. What's well, pretty funny if you ask everybody, what is the non Middle East member of OPEC? It's Venezuela. Venezuela correct. Yeah. Um, if you ask everybody, what is the non Middle East member of OPEC? It's Venezuela. Venezuela correct. Yeah. Um, so it's a sad situation and it could, you know, Pat, you said something the other day, like nobody can see a civil war and then boom, it happens. Venezuela had enough of this clown. <laughs> it is time for the people of Venezuela to have the chance for a better future. <laughs> if I win, he resigns as dictator of Venezuela. If he wins, I give him a free ride to Mars. <laughs> That's funny. The people of Venezuela want change. But it Maria Cona Machado have 73% of the votes cast. We have the minutes published, printed, and verified. Maduro is a big guy himself and probably knows how to fight. So this would be a real fight. Zuck, a little fella. So what would it be a short fight, lol? 
Venezuela has a great wealth of natural resources. If Chavez had not destroyed their economy by increasing the role of government to extreme socialism, the country would be very prosperous. Number one in Venezuela. Is the number one news app in, on the App Store is in Venezuela. Anyway, there you have it. Um, just keep on praying for the Venezuelan people. We're praying that God just keeps people safe and, and brings peace to that land and that just God's will will be done. And I pray that so many people, I know they've lost a lot of loved ones. They've been in prison. Lots of crazy things are happening there in Venezuela. So we just want to pray for them and that God will keep them safe and that God will just free the people of Venezuela. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to know your comments down below, whatever that may be. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Also, you might like this video here. Peace.